Joining us now uh, is Tony Adeshola, Director and Founder of Sickle Cell Advocacy and Management Initiative. Uh, certainly that will be on Skype. We also have in the studio right now uh, Maureen Wachi as well as uh, Larry or Layoko. Gentlemen and ladies, nice to see you both in the studio right now. Welcome. Yeah, thank, thank you very, very much. much. Very good. Uh, let, let me start. Ladies first. So let's start with the lady. <laughs> now, Maureen, let me start with you here. Now, when it comes to the awareness of sickle cell, there has been advocacy over the years. How would you rate how aware Nigerians are about sickle cell? Um, I would say that um, Nigerians are still not very much aware about sickle cell disease, mm. but we are getting there. We're getting there. Like in 2019, I would say we have recorded um, at least the highest number of um, warriors who have been able to come out themselves to advocate during the Sickle Cell Awareness Month, which is in September. So a lot of people are beginning to loosen up to talk about it more. Or it's still, there still need to be, there's still work to be done. Right, and, and well, l let me get your take now. The theme for this period is breaking the cycle of pain. Uh, for many watchers, uh, the assumption is that it's like a lifelong experience of pain, but now we get to know now that uh, this year, we have been offered that there is an option of painless uh, uh, sickle cell awareness, painless sickle cell experience, is that what you're saying? Yeah, what we're trying to say is that, okay, um, living with sickle cell might come with pain, uh, but there is always a way to manage it. And uh, that circle uh, will reduce and um, you don't have to live with that pain. Mm. And that is what we're trying to we say. That's why we say we're breaking the circle of pain. Because mo majorly, most times, um, this pain is more out of the mental, um, the, the mental angle, not the physical angle. Okay. So because like she said earlier, people, maybe because of uh, due to stigmatization and who find it hard to come out and say, okay, I'm living with this disorder. Mm. That alone in itself is pain. Yeah. Coupled with the physical part angle. So what pain to the psychology the of psychology it. Psychology of it, yeah, okay. angle of it. Okay. So, um, so what we're trying to do now is that though you have sickle cell, but sickle cell doesn't have you. So let's break mm. that mm. circle mm. and then let's ease it. Let's let people know that, okay, you can live with sickle cell and you can live a normal life just like every other person. Mm. Okay. Now, uh, Maureen, let me come to you on this. The use of the word warrior, uh, it, it, it strikes, it resonates with me. I, lo I love it. I really love it. But talk to us generally. Uh, what does it take to be a warrior in this case? A warrior, a general who is leading, matching the army against sickle cell. Talk to us about it. Well, we already know what a warrior is, like yeah. what you just said. But for warriors, um, we call ourselves warriors because we are constantly fighting for our lives, if I may put it that way. So we are constantly fighting from birth till death we are constantly fighting to live, you know, because of the pain that uh, sickle cell brings, the complications and all that. So we are constantly fighting to, you know, to live, to so survive. In, in that fight, what, what equipment, what <laughs> arsenal do you need to fight that fight? I really want to know. Mm. Well, like uh, my colleague already said, yeah. you need um, a positive mindset to okay. fight. Number one, that's great. Yes, positive mindset. You need a great support system, mm. which is what we are trying to do with this um, our outreach we are is, going should to. that be the family yes both from okay. the family um, support groups so that people don't think um, they are alone all the time they also see that ah, this person also lives with the same condition and they are doing fine it's not. and um, when it comes to the medical part you know constant medication that needed for better life you know so you talk about uh, positivity a strong support system and um, of course a strong system, uh, health system, system uh, yeah. in, in the country. But in Nigeria now, uh, what are the odds, you know, against a sickle cell warrior thriving painlessly? I still want to use that word, even though it, it might not be the reality because the, the idea now is to manage the pain. But what are the odds against you, you know, emerging victorious in a system like Nigeria? Um, it's it's very difficult, I must say. It's very difficult. Like uh, um, Larry already mentioned, stigmatization, discrimination, all that comes with it. So it's very difficult to actually live a, a normal life 
in Nigeria because a lot of people still don't understand what sickle cell is. So that's just... But are there facilities in place now? Uh, how strong is the system that, you know, wants to change the narrative? Uh, like your NGO, for example, now, how well entrenched is the NGOs, for example, now? Is this alternative system now to help change the narrative in the country? Yes, this is an alternative system to help, you know, change the narrative in the, in the country. And um, when it comes to maybe other bodies like um, the hospitals, medical personnel and um, you know all it encompasses um, I believe everybody is trying their best trying their very possible best to see that this cycle is broken for people to understand it that you can live people living with sickle cell can live better lives mm. yes and live normal lives normal too life. all right Larry the the point there is when it comes to support and assistance how much of that is on ground right now if you can talk to us Okay, um, support and assistance in mm. terms of... Um, in terms of uh, the finances, in terms of medication, in terms of love, in terms of, <laughs> you know, inclusiveness, in terms of okay. access, in terms of anything, exposure. Uh, okay, uh, in terms of finances, medical, hunting, okay, let's start from uh, generally mm. the government angle. Uh, access to medical care for people living with sickle cell mm. it's not that easy in this part of the world uh, we're pushing towards that we're trying to engage um, stakeholders especially the, uh, the government angle okay. to make sure um, access to medication is easy financing okay um, living with sickle cell uh, actually is somehow capital intensive mm. and it could be quite um, intensive, expensive. expensive, but and that's why because we have of the drugs, because of the drugs, okay. and because of the lifestyle they have okay. to live okay. sometimes, and, and that is why you have NGOs coming together. Like what we do, um, we have a free medical clinic. Mm -hmm. uh, we call it extra care clinic, where okay. we provide free drugs for these people. All right, Larry, I'm, okay. I'm afraid we have to end it here because of time okay. right now. But I thank you very much, uh, General Larry. Or Larry. <laughs> <laughs> Let me call you that thank way. You. And, and General Maureen Mwachi, uh, 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 who is also joining us here too. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming on the program. Thank you. Yeah.